Hello and welcome back to The Dirty Shop. I have been a bit of a preparedness geek uh, over the years. I goes off and on about that. But uh, I tend to carry an EDC bag a lot of the time. And it's just, uh, for those of you who don't understand what an EDC bag is, it's everyday carry EDC, everyday carry. And I used to carry a fairly small one, but I've, uh, in the last you know, while, I've been carrying this larger bag because it just, it covers more bases and, and I can really, uh, I get everything I, I think I need for a daily, uh, everyday use into that bag. So I wanted to go over it for you real quick uh, to give you a general idea, maybe give you some ideas of what you could put in your EDC bag. So uh, we'll start off, I've got a Condor, I think it's a Condor, Condor Tactical. It's one of those Chinese made or whatever um, uh, bags, but it is pretty sturdy and stout. I've had it for a few years now off and on, and I've added some extra straps and stuff to it for over the years, different purposes. But it's a good solid bag. It's got all nice little pockets and holds basically everything I need with a couple of additional um, molly pouches on it. I've got one there, I've got one for my water bottle. So, first of all, we'll cover uh, what I got on the outside. I got a water bottle. Sometimes I carry this plastic one, but I do prefer a stainless steel bottle. I've just left mine somewhere because a uh, stainless steel bottle you could cook in. So you got a, a water bottle, um, and, it's, and that's a nice little water bottle holder pouch here. Uh, on the outside here, I also have a, a clip-on carabiner. Um, it's just nice to have a handy carabiner. It's a Metolius one. And I've got this nice little clip here that's holding my keys, and it's got a, a little pocket knife. It's a Columbia River knife and tool, um, simple design, whatever they're called. And this has a knife sharpener on it. A friend of mine designed it's a pretty sweet little tool on this nice little clip. So I got that, uh, my keys, obviously. Everybody needs to carry their keys. On this other side, I've got my uh, homemade knife. I made this, this knife when I was doing search and rescue. Go off of there. And uh, this is my search and rescue knife in the sheath here. Obviously, it's a, it's a big knife for doing a lot of chopping. It has a lot of cool little tools on it, um, but uh, it's a good solid big knife in a good solid sheath. And then on the outside here, I've got a, one of those nice uh, fire starters. And on the outside of this, I've got another little pocket here. And sometimes this holds my Leatherman, but I've misplaced it. And so today it's holding my nice little uh, true utility knife here. It's got a lot of little bells and whistles, but uh, yeah, there's a little knife on a bigger knife. Um, so that's always handy right there. Okay, let's see here, what else we got here? This pouch on the outside here normally holds my camera, but you're looking through it right now, so it doesn't go in there. But I do have a notepad, waterproof one, that's handy. Um, and on the outside of this, let's see what I got. I got a sunglasses case with uh, another pair of sunglasses. Uh, I got my nice aviators that a friend of mine gave me. These are pretty sweet. So I got my aviators um, in, in their pouch, and the pouch is waterproof. Oh, sorry, you can clean the lenses with that. I'm gonna try and speed up here, it's gonna take a little while. Uh, let's see if there's anything else in there. So that's covered. And then, uh, all right, now let's get into the uh, into the pouches here. This top pouch here, we've got my wallet. Of course, all the stuff you put in the wallet. I've got some hand sanitizer for the modern day man. Oh, I've got a pair of uh, sunglasses type safety glasses. So that's another nice thing to have safety glasses. I've got a charge cable for my phone. Um, I've got some Badger Balm for that, uh, you know, skin protection. And if I got a sore uh, skin, I've got another, uh, just another waterproof notepad in case I fill the other one up. Um, see, I got a toothbrush. Can't, can't go without your toothbrush. Keep your teeth clean and fall out. Uh, I've got a cigarette lighter, uh, which is nice to start a fire with. And uh, that covers that pouch. Okay, let's see here. Moving right along. This pouch here, I've got some, uh, some artificial sinew. This makes good, it's good for making snares or just uh, general tying things up sort of things. I really love that stuff. I got a pair of uh, leather gloves. I use these a good bit already, so obviously they're they're handy. Um, good pair of leather gloves. Really like those. I've got uh, I've got my Bible. I like to have something to read and uh, you know gotta keep the faith. My Bible there. That's covered. I got a pair of chopsticks. Uh, they used to this pouch used to be better, but a pair of chopsticks in case you want to eat something. That's handy. Um, I got a couple pins. It's a felt tip uh, or a permanent marker, fine point. Uh, here's a permanent marker with a bigger point. Uh, here's another fine point permanent marker. I've got some pins there. Uh, I've got another toothbrush in case I lose one. This is a better quality one too, you know, you never know. Um, so I've got some toothbrushes there. i got some paracord because everybody loves paracord. And, uh, you know, there's just no end to uses for it. And the military uses it, so it must be important. Um, they use it for parachutes though. Um, let's see up here. i got, oh, i got some more paracord just in case. Uh, you don't, can't really have enough of that. I've got a bag here with some batteries in it. Um, these are, uh, I marked the date on them. I wrapped them with a piece of tape and marked the date so I know how old they are. The batteries. I got a flashlight. This is good. Nice little one here. And then I got a, a little packet of sunscreen. A uh, little sunblock there. And let's see what else is in here. Anything else? 
looks like that. Oh, I've got my Eaton tool. This is a Columbia River Eaton tool. It's cool, and it's, uh, I mean, everybody needs a little wrench on their spoon fork thingy. That's really handy. And, uh, uh, and a handkerchief, you know, in case you got a sniffle. That's good. Right there, handkerchief. All right, now we're going to go into these bigger pockets. Okay, I've got, uh, I've got my mask here. Um, you know, once again, tools for the modern man, or everyday person. I've got this uh, pocket reference book, which is really awesome. In case Google breaks down, you can look up just about anything you want in here, as far as like math equations and numbers and such. I've got a first aid kit here. This is the one I put together when I was on the search and rescue team. I've got, I'm not gonna go into this, but that's a whole nother video. But there's like a suture kit in there and all sorts of things, I, I, lots of good stuff in the first aid kit. I got some fishing gear with some flies there. I really like that. Some, little pouch of fishing gear. I've got this uh, pocket size uh, magnifier glass. This You can start a fire with these or magnify stuff, obviously. A little roll of galvanized bailing wire, type bailing type wire. Um, no end uses for that one. Uh, let's see, all right, this is a little waterproof pouch here. And inside this pouch, I carry some stuff. Um, I've got some repair tape. And then I've got this, uh, this bug mat net in case you get into the mosquitoes. I hate mosquitoes. I got another little uh, plastic water bottle here. That's really handy. Um, right there, I got some more string, some smaller string. I don't know why I carry that one. It's not really that useful. But you never know. I got a, another pouch with some batteries in it, uh, both AA and AAA. And then uh, in here, oh, I've got my uh, got my Steri pin, so I can uh, make fresh water here. And then in the Steri pin bag, I keep a spare battery. Got to keep a spare battery for that Steri pin. Um, anything electronic can wear the batteries out. So I got that. I got a, a couple of nice, good uh, granola bars and a espresso goo shot. Let's see here, granola bars, granola bars. And this is just everyday. Care. You wouldn't want to be without this stuff. It's everyday. Uh, I got a signal mirror, or if I want to look myself, touch myself up, because I, I like to stay pretty. And then uh, more granola bars. And then oh, that's oh, there's more stuff down there. Uh, oh yeah, here's another bag, a little little bag. I keep stuff in a Ziploc. I got a. A couple razors, uh, disposable razors, that's nice. I got some water sterilizing tablets, I got some duct tape, uh, I got some dental floss, and I got another lighter, you know, because sometimes lighters wear out, you want to have a couple of those. Um, down here, let's see, I've got a beanie, in case, my, oh, stay up. in case my head gets cold. I like this uh, this beanie, this is a nice packable one, it's, uh, it's that uh, polar fleece, I've had this for a few years. I really like that one there, it's a good one. All right, that covers that, and then we'll get into this last pouch here. And uh, we'll be done in just a few more minutes. Let's see here, gotta go zip it all the way up in there. All right, I've got my, uh, my survival manual. You know, you wanna have that light reading. Uh, I enjoy to read this uh, sometimes, and just in case, you know, you never know, uh, nice to have around. But that SES survival handbook is a good one. I, I highly recommend it, I really like that. I've got my tablet. Um, I do some, some writing, you know, like write stories. Uh, off and on. So I've got my tablet here and then I've got a Bluetooth keyboard that goes with it, which is really sweet. Really like this. This is a one by one Bluetooth keyboard. Works with my tablet. Um, and then uh, here I've got my uh, my stuffed wombat. I got this guy in Australia. He comes around with me. He's a little dirty right now in case I want to have a, you know, a little comfort. That's good. The stuffed wombat. Um, I got a tripod. I got this bendy tripod. I kind of like these and I kind of don't because they tend to wear out once like if you move it, you can see that one joint, it always moves right there, so so they break there. Um, and then this one here, this side here, doesn't move there because I glued it. It actually broke, so that's a, a tripod that I'll use sometimes for my videotape because I do YouTube stuff, obviously, and then I need a tripod for, uh, for that. I got a roll of toilet paper. Uh, that's very valuable. Um, you never know when you're gonna need that. And then here, this is my camera stuff. Looks like the end of it. This is the other camera stuff I carry. I got this nice flat case um, and uh, it's got uh, a Ziploc bag, it's got my lapel mic, uh, it's got a rechargeable like a, a battery bank here, all the spare batteries for stuff. I got a couple of GoPros. This is another little tripod, a uh, smaller version, like for this GoPro here. Uh, I got my head headband for my GoPro. I've got my bigger GoPro here. This is a Go, GoPro 5 and it's in one of these aluminum cases so that I can attach my microphone to it. Um, that's nice to have. I've got this uh, cool selfie stick that I never use. Um, I've got a lens cleaning cloth, that's nice. I've got this the little clampy thing, uh, it's a Joby, uh, or Jove, I don't know how you pronounce that, but for my cell phone, in case I want to videotape on my cell phone. I've got some spare batteries, i got for the GoPro and then for the for my uh, G7X up there. 
uh, reach charger for the GoPro batteries. This is a, a little tripod that I've been working on that I made myself. Um, and then you'll see a video for that coming up pretty quick. But I use this for my GoPro sometimes like that. And I really like that tripod. And then in this here, I've got this uh, little cool little old tobacco pouch. I don't chew, but a friend of mine gave it to me. And I keep my spare memory cards um, and connectors and things like that in there to cover that. So I think that pretty much covers it. Uh, obviously, I'm missing a few things. Uh, my, my schmog is missing. I'm not sure what I did with it. I uh, must have used it. It might be in the wash. Uh, there's, things, there's a few other things you might want to carry on a daily basis uh, in your EDC bag so that you can uh, really be ready uh, for your daily life. I mean, you, I use these all the time, like every day. So uh, just, you know, it's nice to be prepared and have what you need when you're out there in the real world and uh, uh, facing those challenges. So uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time on The Dirty Shop.